Every Christian knows about the five holy wounds of Jesus Christ, but most people are not familiar with the hidden sixth wound of Jesus. But Saint Bernard of Clairvaux, a 12th century French monk, asked Jesus what his greatest unknown suffering was, and Jesus told him, I had on my shoulder, while I bore my cross on the way of sorrows, a grievous wound, which was more painful than the others, and which is not recorded by men. Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich was a Christian mystic who experienced many visions from our Lord. Our Lord showed her his passion. She saw many hidden and ignored secrets. These visions have given inspiration to Mel Gibson for the movie The Passion of the Christ and also saw that Jesus' shoulders were torn to the bone by the scourging he endured and they were so violently distended that they were almost dislocated. This was undoubtedly a harrowing experience and it would have been difficult for Jesus to work with the heavy burden of the cross on his shoulders. This brings to mind the passage in the Gospel which describes how the soldiers forced Simon of Cyrene to pick up Jesus' cross. Saint Mary Julie Jehani was a Catholic mystic who got stigmat on her body for 60 years. She is one of the few stigmatists who received the shoulder wound of our Lord. Saint Padre Pio has been best known for over 50 years for bearing the stigma. But what few people know is that he had another secret wound for most of his life. Once Karol Wojtyla, the future Pope St. John Paul II, asked Padre Pio which wound hurt him the most. Padre Pio revealed that his shoulder wound caused him the most pain. Only after Padre Pio's death were the blood stains found on his undershirt, near the shoulder blade on the right shoulder, the stain was 4 inches. How can we know this is true if the Bible doesn't say anything about it? This is where science and the shroud of Turin come into it. The Shroud of Turin is a linen burial cloth containing a unique, three-dimensional negative image of a man who suffered, died, and was buried the same way the Gospels say Jesus was. Based on the overwhelming majority of the evidence, the man on the shroud is Jesus Christ. Professor Father Patrick Pulicino, a doctor turned priest, had a new theory. He noticed on the Shroud of Turin that Jesus Christ's right shoulder might be dislocated. He believes this because Jesus Jesus' right hand was pulled so far out of its socket that the right hand was four inches lower than the left hand. Father Pulicino believes that a ruptured artery in his shoulder might cause a massive internal bleed leading to Jesus' death. This is just a theory, but the Shroud of Turin clearly shows the horror Jesus underwent and confirms that Jesus had a painful wound on his shoulder. After Saint Bernard of Clairvaux received a message from Christ about the pain he experienced in his shoulder, Saint Bernard tried to make people more devoted to the wound on Christ's shoulder. To help accomplish this, he wrote a prayer. Please pray with me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O loving Jesus, meek Lamb of God, I, a miserable sinner, salute and worship the most sacred wound of thy shoulder, on which thou didst bear thy heavy cross, which so tore thy flesh, and laid bare thy bones, as to inflict on thee an anguish greater than any other wound of thy most blessed body. I adore thee, O Jesus, most sorrowful. I praise and glorify thee, and give thee thanks for this most secret and painful wound, beseeching thee by that exceeding pain, and by the crushing burden of thy heavy cross, to be merciful to me, a sinner, to forgive me all my mortal and venial sins, and to lead me on towards heaven, along the way of thy cross. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.